you know, stories mm. coming uh, from these uh, people that claim to be part of the, uh, you know, governmental uh, military uh, organization such as Pentagon. So, so Noria, Nor, Noria Hayakawa, 80 years old, uh, you spent a great portion of your life. You talk about going back way back to 1947. Your dad's telling us, and your dad, who would know the night skies as a fisherman back in the in the, in the 47, they didn't have the kind of instruments we have today. Um, you've devoted a great part of your life to this. What conclusion have you come to? Or are you more confused than when you started? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, Well, yeah. very good question. Yes, I'm more confused than ever before. Sure. We are not any step closer to finding out about the truth of everything. So, you know, my 80, close to 80 years of life, uh, I don't regret what I've been doing and what I am doing now. Uh, just uh, just uh, about a couple of years ago, a film company came to my house in Albuquerque and did, they decided to do a story about me and they made a 30-minute short documentary film called The Conspiratologist, and I was pretty satisfied with that documentary movie. I took them to Albuquerque's very sensitive part of uh, Kirtland Air Force Base, where there is, a, what you call it, underground uh, facility that stores very important uh, nuclear weapon systems and so on and it's still there but uh, you know uh, I took them around and I showed them uh, these places in Albuquerque and uh, so uh, they, they made a 30 minute uh, film which is very successful it tells about how I got involved in all this and it also tells about uh, my other hobbies such as music because uh, I'm a musician, and uh, <clears throat> I play music uh, to 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 entertain people, uh, especially uh, people who live in uh, uh, <clears throat> assisted nursing uh, facilities and so on. And uh, there are many shut-ins, people that cannot go out, and uh, you know they need something uh, like entertainment. So there I come. I give. Uh, uh, entertainment, uh, wholesome entertainment. Uh, go to these places, assisted nurse living facilities and retirement homes, and I do my thing, uh, you know, entertaining them. And so, in a way, uh, this is very good for me because uh, it uh, it's like it relieves some stress uh, to, especially when I'm dealing with some heavy stuff like the one we've been discussing. <laughs> yeah, very rewarding, I too. Yeah. I, I, I was in a situation once where I was driving car service, and I'd pick up these elderly people, and the only time they left their house was to go to the doctor's appointment. They had no friends, no neighbors, none. So they get in a car with me, and I'm talking to them. Then they would start requesting me, can that nice young man pick me up again? <laughs> you know, I, got, uh, I hate to say you know, get myself roped into their lives. But uh, yeah, and then Meals on Wheels is another thing too, where, where you go to these people's homes and and they that's the only human contact they have all day long. So that's that's beautiful work you're doing there, Mister Hayakawa. I can't I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Well, Ed, I appreciate so much for having me on your program because I think this is such an important uh, topic that affects all of us. Exactly, and I'll be honest with you. I stay clear of the UFO topic, but it's nice to have Noria Hayakawa here, who's a sober gentleman here, many years of experience in this field, and very honest, very respected in every possible way. Uh, the the movie he's talking about is called The Conspiratologist. I suggest people or recommend people go out and try and find that and check that out. Noria Hayakawa dot wordpress dot com to find his writing. He's on Facebook. You can find him. He's on Twitter. You can find him. Uh, you want to meet him in person? Check out March 30th on a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 in the afternoon in Albuquerque, New Mexico at the Cherry Hills Library. 
And if you just imagine how he's been so honest and forthcoming here, just imagine what he'd be like to really, you know, say in person. With a, you don't want to make enemies in a, in a small world like Ubology, but I could just imagine what a personal conversation would be like with Mr. Noria Hayakawa uh, at Cherry Hills Library, WordPress.com, and also to on YouTube, Noria Hayakawa. Uh, anything you want to leave us with in one minute? No, I. Uh, that's all I wanted to say, Ed. Uh, I wanted to say how much. I appreciate uh, you for inviting me to this uh, program, amazing program, I think. And uh, I hope a lot of people will listen to this and, you know, check out the the information. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay, uh, I'll be talking to you soon, and people can check out, once again, noriahayakawa.wordpress.com. Uh, on YouTube to, again as well as his uh, Noria Hayakawa YouTube channel and listen to the guy's voice the guy's a great storyteller we got a great voice for radio that's for sure <laughs> okay, so you can't go wrong there uh, thank you so much okay thank you God bless you good night sir